Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to serialize Java objects and store the data in a file and how to deserialize data from a file and use it in your Java application. So this is useful if you want to save a progress or save data from your Java application and use it later. So first, let's create a new Java project, and I will call this project serialization. And I will click finish. Now I will create a new Java package, and I will call this package that's for Java. And inside of this package, I will create a new class, and this will be a book class. And let's click finish. Now inside our book class, I will add some fields, so private, string, title, private, string, author, and let's say private, integer, pages, okay, and now I will create a constructor for the book class, so public book, and this constructor will have three arguments title author and pages so we could fill this object using only our constructor so i will say string title string author and integer pages okay now i will say this title is title this author is author and this pages is pages okay save it now let's generate uh, getters and setters using eclipse so click on the source and click on generate getters and setters choose the fields that you want i will choose all and I will just click OK and the Eclipse will generate getters and setters for every field that we checked. So let's save this. And now I will create another class in this package and this will be a driver class so it will have a main method. And I will just call this class test. Click finish. So this is our main method, we will write code here, and before we can do that, I will import everything from uh, java.io package. Okay, now let's say we want to create a new book object, so book, book1 is a new book. And let's say title will be, I don't know, Harry Potter. And the uh, author will be J.K. Rowling. And the number of pages, let's say, I don't know, 350. Okay, so this book uh, object will live only while this application is running so what if we want to save this book object to a file and then use it later uh, when we open this application so we need to save it somehow and the uh, easiest way to save an object to a file using java is serialization so before we can serialize this object of the class book this class book needs to implement a serializable interface so let's head back to our book class and let's add after the class declaration implement serializable okay and let's import java.io.serializable okay let's save this now we can serialize this object because this class implements serializable interface okay let's write try catch block 
and we want to catch IO exception and after if we catch this exception we want to print stack trace okay now inside our try block we want to write a file output stream fos that will be a new file output stream and the argument of this file output stream will be a new file and it will be located in a root folder of our uh, project and let's call this file book.txt okay now we need object output stream let's call it OOS and it will be a new object output stream and arguments of this object output stream will be file output stream okay and let's use this object output stream to write our book one object or file. So OOS, so object output stream, write object, and object we want to write is a book one object. Now we need to close our object output stream, and let's close file output stream. Okay. So I will just open a folder with the work workspace of this Eclipse IDE and let's enter this serialization project and as you can see there are three folders, settings, bin and source and two files, class path and project. So let's, um, okay, now when we run this, this application will save a file called book.txt to the root of this project so let's run it and as you can see there's a book text document in our root of project now if we open this book we will see some symbols here that are not human readable but some parts of it are like this string and we see title rolling harry potter but there are also some symbols that's because java serializes this object to byte array and it writes byte array to this file so it is not human readable but it is readable to our application okay now let's delete all of this okay but we will uh, this try block can stay now in our oh of course we want to print stack trace if we have io exception and in our try block let's write if we file input stream and it will be FIS it is a new file input stream and the argument of this file input stream will be a new file and it will be our file in the root of our project so book.txt so now we want to use this file input stream to read this uh, file and we want to pass that file to our object input stream and let's call it OIS it will be a new object input stream and the argument of this object input stream will be our file input stream now let's create new book object so book book2 is equal to object input stream dot read object and we need to cast this book class to our read object method so book okay 
and we want to import some or add some catch clause class not found exception okay so now we need to close our object input stream and let's close our file input stream and now we want to check if this book2 is really the book that we saved to our book.txt and we can use we can see that by using some getter so let's say system dot out dot print line and let's say book to dot get title okay so this should print out the title of the book that we saved to a book txt file okay let's run it and as you can see there is a harry potter so let's print i don't know author and let's run it again and as you can see it's a jk rowling so we successfully serialized our book object to a book txt file and deserialized it using this file input stream and object input stream so we could read an object from this file so this is all for this tutorial and i hope you liked it and stay tuned and there will be many other tutorials to come. Bye!